Today we're taking a look at the new 70 millimeter Swamp Claw tires from Endura. Look at these things, they're huge. The battle to see who can make the biggest tires for our mini crawlers is totally on fire right now. And Endura has come out swinging with these 70 millimeter Swamp Claws. These are on a 1.3 inch wheel. They come as a combination, so you get all four tires and four wheels in one package, and you get them at a price point of under $40. These things look and feel epic, so I can't wait to get them on a build. We're gonna put them on the Tarantula build, which is currently running the 64 millimeter Swamp Claws. Let's take a closer look at these things, then we'll mount them up on the wheels, put them on the build, and see how they do. Let's take a look at these things. So when you get them, you get them in a package just like this. It comes with the four tires and four wheels. They are not mounted. It looks deceiving like they're mounted, but they're not. They're just placed, the tires are just placed over the wheels. So in the package, you get four of these 1.3 inch aluminum beadlock wheels. These are a nice deep dish design. They've got a wicked negative offset on them. It's going to give you some width, which is going to be important to clear these big tires. At the time of this recording, I believe they only come in the black. So your wheel choice is going to be really limited with these big tires. These are a great looking wheel. They have the rivets around the outside. I initially thought that this was going to be for a ring that you had to assemble, but it's not. This is just for aesthetics. The tires themselves, the massive 70 millimeter Swamp Claws, these things are just enormous. They're 70 millimeters tall by 27 millimeters wide. Injura is still using the excellent S5 super sticky compound, so the tires themselves have a great soft and sticky feel to them. The tire itself has got a nice feel. It's got a soft compound, but a pretty rigid structure. So despite the size, it feels like it's got decent sidewall rigidity. Even off a wheel here, I can tell. I'm sure part of that has to do with these super gnarly sidewalls that these Swamp Claw tires have. They just have these incredibly aggressive, large lugs all the way around. Very meaty sidewalls. Deep channels throughout. You're going to clear out that debris really well. I mentioned this is a 1.3 inch wheel, so Endura has opted to go for a bigger wheel when stepping up to this size tire. Which has its advantages, because when you do a large diameter tire if you keep a small diameter wheel you're going to run into a lot of sidewall flex but when you bump up the size of the wheel you're able to get a larger diameter tire but with less sidewall so once these are mounted up we optimistically should retain good sidewall strength despite having such a massive tire on here one of the things i can show you is with the dj crawler 68 millimeter tire dj crawler opted to keep a one inch wheel and what happens with that you see that flex in the sidewall there just because you have so much rubber here before you get to the wheel. But with a 1.3 inch wheel, you can see that the actual size of the sidewall is dramatically reduced, which is gonna give this stronger lateral stability. On the flip side of that, you are severely limited on your wheel and tire choices. I'm sure that with time, more and more of these will come out and Jura will release new wheels to go with this and maybe other manufacturers will jump on the 1.3 inch bandwagon, but we'll see do some quick size comparisons on here. I showed you the Tarantula build, which is currently running the 64 millimeter Blomp Claws. Look at the size difference. You wouldn't think 64 to 70 is a huge jump, but they look enormous next to the 64 millimeters. Here they are with a 64 millimeter rock terrain. Again, so much bigger. Not so much in width, although it is noticeably wider, but the height and just overall mass of these new tires is so impressive. If we look at it against a stock TRX 4M tire, <laughs> look at the difference here. Absolutely enormous tire compared to the stock tires. So you are really going to have to have a built rig to clear these tires because they are just enormous. So I get asked pretty frequently why I don't feature the Tarantula build a whole lot. And it's really because this is one of the builds that came out so good the first time around that I just haven't done anything much else to it it just works so good as it was so it's just kind of like the happy warrior just sitting around just doing its thing when I want to use it it's there it think thing is bulletproof it performs amazing so that's the only reason why is that it's just so good that I really don't think about it as terrible as that sounds what I did do for this video in preparation for this video is that I put some hex extensions on it to widen it out because with the 64 millimeter swamp claws that it's currently running, which are awesome by the way, if you can't tell, they bind up, they don't bind, but they rub on the shocks up front 
So I put some plus six millimeter, I believe, hex extensions on it to make some more room for the incoming bad boys. But I've had great success with these smaller, it's hard to say smaller when looking at a 64 millimeter tire, but these smaller swamp claws, these things work amazing. So I'm really excited to see what the big brothers are like. So let's get them mounted up and then we'll get them on this build and see how they do on the course and out on the rocks. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh, tarantula, do you even lift? This thing does not skip leg day whatsoever. Look at these tires. They are enormous and I absolutely love them. These are the type of things that just get to my inner child and get me so pumped. They just look so awesome and outrageous. The tarantula, I think, wears them really well. And with the hex extensions, I do have some rubbing there. We'll see if that becomes problematic. I might just have to dial back my endpoints so I don't get that hung up there because these big aggressive lugs catching on the tubular chassis there could be problematic. It's not nearly as bad as I was expecting though. So we'll see, we might be able to get away with it. But man, they look fantastic. They went together extremely easy. I really like these Endura wheels. These are a vented wheel. So you're gonna be able to get these, I think you can hear that, get these big tires to squish and conform to obstacles. They're a three piece wheel and all you had to do was just do the inner screws here, the six inner screws. Endura does supply longer screws so if you open this up and you get into the hardware and you see that there are longer screws, the purpose of that is to help you get the wheel started. But these went together very easy. I didn't find myself needing those whatsoever. I also really appreciate that the inner screws here, the six inner screws are recessed so they do not interfere with your wheel nuts. So I'm able to get my typical driver in there with no issues. So the size of these tires and the offset of the wheels just give this thing a massive footprint. But it actually looks really, really good on the build, I think. I was a little bit worried it was going to look cartoonishly big, but it doesn't overwhelm the chassis nearly as much as I was expecting. So I am really happy with how these look. Now, let's run these things. First, we're going to put it on the indoor course and see how they do on the plaster and styrofoam, and then we'll get it out and hit the rocks with it and see how it does. So let's fire it up and check it out. Bigfoot tarantula on the course. Look at this thing. It looks even better on the course. First run with these things ever. So they do have the factory sticky coating on them. It might be a little slicker just due to the first runs ever, but we'll see. Oh my gosh, look at it, it's crazy looking. Tarantula is running the Endura Pro Motor and the crawler gears. So we got the muscle to turn these big tires. The extra ground clearance gets us up and over that gatekeeper. A little bit of belly drag. I'm getting a little bit of binding there. I can see that. Not terrible, but definitely noticeable. Crazy grip there, able to take a really aggressive near vertical line up the canyon. Having to choose my lines carefully going across the wooden bridge due to the extra width of this thing now. Again, able to crawl up and over that log. We got stuck there last time a little bit. Dropping down into mini Moab. Let's see how this does on the spray foam insulation section of the course. Crushing the gatekeeper there, no issues whatsoever. Most rigs are getting pretty severe understeer here, not this one, grips and goes. Look at this monster. Let's do some side hill, we'll come across the chute. What I'm gonna be looking for is any sidewall flex in the tires, which I don't see anything there. Practically no roll in these tires and they stick extremely well. We go up Hell's Gate. A 
no problem. So originally I was skeptical of the 1.3 inch wheel size, but now with the performance of these tires, I'm really pleased with them and I'm glad that Enduro went that route because of the lack of sidewall flex on these. I think this really lets these big tires do what they were intended to do. So impressive, just grip for days everywhere. They look fantastic too, those big wheels on there. something a little different well tarantula crushing a near vertical ugly line there no issues all right let's get this thing outdoors and see how it can do on the rocks just in the backyard today but let's see how these things do The extra ground clearance from these tires really helping the tarantula get through here. This is typically a section that favors portals, but we got all the clearance we need now. Good grip even on that slippery landscape rock there. I'm deliberately looking for ways to get this thing stuck, but man, these tires grip so well. Still able to save that. <laughs> So made really quick work of the just straight up course run. Let's try some challenge lines here. No problem there. Finding with these big tires, the aggressive lugs on here, all you do is just kind of wiggle the servo and just let them get just a little bit of grip and as soon as they do, it's all over. It's just like that. Oh my gosh, just crushing the outdoor course here. We need some more challenging terrain for this thing. I'm impressed. These could be my new favorite wheel and tire combo right here. The big aggressive Swamp Claw tires look amazing. Mounted on the big 1.3 inch wheels, the whole combination has a great aesthetic appeal to it, but it also has the performance to back it up. These things crushed all the lines on the indoor course, gripping extremely well on the plaster, styrofoam, and the spray foam that we have on the indoor course. On the rocks on the backyard course, they did extremely well out there, gripping on smooth, flat landscape rock, and hooking up extremely well on the jagged edges with these super gnarly sidewalls and the tread design of these tires. Now I am looking forward to testing these in more situations and more areas. Our terrain is pretty limited outside, so I'm anxious to get this out and hit some different rocky terrain. Minimal drawbacks with these, I mean, number one, you gotta have a build that can actually fit these monsters on there. 
they work pretty well on the tarantula, but again, I have widened this out. I've got the hex extensions on it, and even then they do still rub a little bit. I was experiencing some minor binding issues on it, so I will have to dial back the steering a little bit. But if you're gonna put these on here, make sure you've got a build that's got some serious room in the fender wells or is a comp style chassis with no fenders, such as the tarantula. Aside from that, you are just gonna be limited on your wheel choices. I did some more research online and I did find a few other companies making 1.3 inch beadlock wheels. So it looks like in the very near future, there will be some significant variety for these wheels. But if you didn't like these exact wheels, there are some other options online. And I'm sure that Endura will be coming out with different models and colors of these wheels to go with the tires. But I can live with that in the short term because I think the wheel choice that Endura has given us looks great. The black beadlock wheel has a subtle and appealing look to it and will go with a lot of builds. So overall, just a great combo from Endura and I'm super pumped I got to try them out. These are available for under 40 bucks. Like I said, I'll put the link in the description down below. And remember, you can use my discount code to save 5% on all things at Endura.com. Now let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. What do you think of these monstrous 70 millimeter tires? Are we getting too big with the mini crawler tires? Let me know what you think. And as always, I appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so, and I'll see you in the next video.